white is supreme. Understanding whiteness. This is Addie Banks. Let's talk about whiteness. What does Japan, India, Africa, the United States, Haiti, Mexico, and all of Latin America have in common? Colorism. Consider this childhood saying, if you're black, stay back. If you're brown, stick around. If you're yellow, you're mellow. If you're white, you're all right. Keeping white supreme. Those white supremacists forcing their whiteness on the world. Is it their skin color that we resist? No, it is the privileges we attribute to whiteness as a group of people with lighter skin, if not due to albinism. Colorism is practiced among people of the same ethnic and racial group, where whiteness standards prevail. The lighter the skin and the closer to whiteness, the better your opportunities to work, wealth, and wellness. In Japan, ethnically pure children are born into first-class privileges and attend the best schools, like white children in societies where whiteness is supreme. P.H. Wood, in The Birth of Race-Based Slavery, wrote about the origins of whiteness imported from Spain and Portugal during slavery as necessary to contrast master's identity from slaves. This allowed creation of a deliberate hierarchy with whites entitled to privilege and slaves made their property. So how do contemporary earthlings perpetuate whiteness? Besides wearing white at weddings as a show of purity in spite of, let your reaction to these animals inform. Yes, we experience the beauty of the color white. But when we attach whiteness to the color and endow it with supremacy, we must be cognizant of every decision we unconsciously make about the value of one color over another. 